Vegan soft AF pretzels and bear cheese. You here for the pretzels or the cheese? You know what? It doesn't matter because this combination made by this king of Zamunda is unparalleled. First of all, the soft AF pretzel is an understatement. This cotton like con artist of dough is going to have you trying to convince the TSA to bring us on the plane as a neck pillow. And this cheese? Listen, let me stop you there. I know what you're thinking. He's been vegan for like 10 years and has no memory of what cheese tastes like. Wrong. I've been vegan for like three years and I still don't remember what real cheese tastes like. What I do know is once you dip into this gold, it is so good, you won't be able to hear anything anyone says. You're gonna be answering everybody's questions with that Rick Ross ad lib. Hey dad, what channel's the game on? Huh. Let's get into it. We're gonna start this off with these lush edible neck pillows. Let's get out the mixer. I call mine Shelby. Into the mixing bowl goes flour, brown sugar, yeast, salt, and this whisk to get the pool party started. Common question, why did I not start off by proofing my yeast? Because you only need to do that if you're unsure if your yeast is active. If you're certain your yeast is active, it's pretty much pointless. It's like checking your refrigerator five minutes later to see that just like the first three times, no new food has magically appeared. It's a harmless habit. I do it too. <laughs> Next into the bowl is warm water. If we wanted to extend the rise time, use cold water. Every inpatient, non-bread making person, mostly Americans, why in the world would I want to extend the rise time? Well, check out the post linked in the description below. Onward with your dough hook and bing, bang, Boom. Get it going to bring the ingredients together. Have a spatula to help move things along and or spank the dough if necessary because you like it rough, the dough likes it rough. After about five to 10 minutes, your dough should be as smooth as my voice and be pulling away from the bowl. Keep some extra flour on hand, just in case the dough is too sticky, which you should be able to tell once you touch it. Now that your dough is ready, let's go let it rest by giving it a power nap. Preheat your oven to 425 Fahrenheit and start a large pot of boiling water. You could add now or later, but you're gonna stir in some baking soda until it dissolves. Remove the pot from heat and get it into a bowl. Now that you did your one David Blaine trick for the day, you're going to be skinny dipping your pretzels up in here. So allow this to come to a temperature that you're comfortable placing your hands in. Essentially, you could skip this step and have, I don't know, less than average pretzels. But if you want vegan AF soft pretzels, then handle your business. AF standing for and fresh, by the way. I mean, I'm not really sure what you were thinking this whole time. What else could that really stand for? We're going to set up some stations. You can move things around to place them wherever it's more comfortable for you on your work surface. Essentially, you need a water bath station, drying station, and a bacon tray station. Get some oil down on the surface where you're going to be working on. Also, where you're going to place your dough. Dump your dough out where X marks the spot with a pizza cutter, knife, dough scraper, anything you can chop a chunk off with. Get about eight inches long of dough, about one and a half inches wide. Pull the log, lay it on your surface, and begin to roll it in the middle while sliding your hands towards the ends. This jump rope should end up about a half inch by 36 inches. Make them as big or as small as you like. The measurements are strictly for the perfectionist. Yes, I am talking about myself, but don't overcomplicate it. Just have fun with it. Here's the easiest way to shape your pretzels. Set up a U and or horseshoe shape. Bring down, crossing over each end. You could leave it here or now you can twist the legs once or even twice if you're feeling froggy and press the legs back at the bottom. From here, hold the legs and bring your neck pillow skinny dipping. Then dab the bottom at your drying station and place it on your oiled baking tray. Although I'm using a dark baking tray here, I wouldn't recommend using that. I was too lazy to clean just to be straight up. Use a lighter baking tray. This way you'll yield a lighter crust. Roll through this same process with the rest of your dough and flex on your way to the oven. All right, get out your high speed blender. And while we wait on the pretzels, I show you how to make man-made gold. Wait, what? You want this free of the top eight and or nine allergens? Okay, watch me work. You ain't never had a friend like me. Uh -oh. 
This is so easy. All you're doing is dumping everything in. Hit the blend button and if all goes well, well, you know what time it is. so much for the support. I love y'all. As always, believe in good. Peace.